Hey guys, it's Miss Holsey. Um, I just wanted to say hi, let you know that I miss you guys very much. I hope you guys are staying occupied. You're washing your hands a lot. Um, you're helping your mom and dad out at the house by emptying the dishwasher, cleaning your rooms. And I hope you're doing lots of reading, maybe doing some baking with your family. It's a good time to read through your recipes, follow the instructions, go step by step. Um, a lot of different learning is going to be happening these next couple weeks until we know what direction our school is going. But I wanted to let you know that I'm thinking about you guys and um, to reach out, send me videos, let me know what you're doing. Show me the things you're doing. Um, I did post a video of a read aloud I did yesterday. It's called All About Otters. I put that up on my YouTube so that you guys can access it anytime. And I wanted to share another book with you guys. It's called Shark Attack. It's a nonfiction book all about sharks. So I'm gonna share that with you now. So here we go, Shark Attack. Ocean hunters, the short fin mako is hunting. It speeds toward its prey at 20 miles per hour. Its huge mouth is open and ready. Sharks are the great hunters of our oceans. The short fin mako is the fastest shark of all. Did you know that? So here they have a couple different sharks. We've got the scalloped hammerhead shark, the basking shark right there, the bull shark, great white shark, We've got a leopard shark, the oceanic white tip shark. Here we got the short fin mako, silky shark, tiger shark. And then they have a word here, it's called prey. Did you know that prey is an animal that is hunted down and may be killed by another animal. So that's what prey is. An animal is hunted by another animal. The next page. Here are more super cool sharks. Did you know that sharks are fish? The whale shark is the biggest shark. It's the world's biggest fish. It can grow to 40 feet long. The seven inch dwarf lantern shark fits into a person's hand. Its belly glows. It can be seen from below. This hides the shark from animals that want to eat it. So here we go. There's that little shark, the smallest shark. And then the whale shark is the largest shark. The swell shark has a secret. It can swallow lots of water and swell up to twice its size. Now it's hard for an, an, another animal to bite it. So there it is at the top. The short fin mako can leap 20 feet out of the water. So there that one is down here. Sharks are survivors. They've been swimming in our waters for more than 400 million years. Sharks were here long before dinosaurs ruled the planet. Ancient sharks ate dinosaurs that fell into the sea. Amazing bodies. Why have sharks survived so long? Their amazing bodies make them the best hunters in the ocean. A shark's skeleton is made of cartilage. Cartilage bends more easily than bones do. It helps the shark twist and turn in the water. So cartilage is like the stuff in your nose. If you take your nose and you move it, that's cartilage. Your ear also has cartilage. <clears throat> Fins help a shark move forward, balance, and steer. So here, this is the fin. Denticles are rough scales that protect a shark's body. So if you look up, close look, those are called denticles. That's what cover a shark's body. 
And then here, the word cartilage, what I just talked about, your ears and nose are formed by strong rubbery cartilage. And then here, it's talking about its teeth. Teeth are the bony parts of a shark. A shark can use 30,000 teeth in its life. You have five senses. Sharks have six super senses to track down their prey. Hearing. Sharks hear sounds too low for you to hear. Taste. Your taste buds are mostly on your tongue. Sharks' taste buds line their mouths and throat. Smell. You can use your nose to smell and breathe. Sharks use theirs for smelling prey. Did you know that some sharks can smell blood up to three miles away? And a great white takes a test bite. It tastes to find out if prey is good to eat. Sight. Sharks can see about 10 times better in low light than you can. Touch. The, you feel things when you touch them. Sharks feel vibrations from things before they touch them. And then their sixth sense is called Electroreception. Sharks have a sixth sense. They sense electricity in other animals. This helps them find out where dinner is hiding. So here under the shark's nose is those receptors. Okay. Eat up. A shark's main job is feeding. Sharks rarely attack humans to eat them. People are bony and don't taste good. Thank goodness. Sharks eat fish and other smaller ocean animals. They even eat other sharks. A tiger shark will eat anything, even a boot. The nurse shark traps and sucks up squid. The hammerhead shark likes stingrays best of all. And then the giant whale shark eats tiny plankton, tons of it. There's the sharks. A great white shark tracks a seal. A seal is rich in fat. The shark swims fast near the top of the water. It's now a few feet from the sea. The great white points its snout upward. It bursts out of the water with its jaw open wide. It pushes its upper jaw and teeth forward. Its teeth find their mark. Chomp. Here's a fact for you. After eating a baby seal, a great white can survive 12 to 15 days without feeding again. There's your great white for you. A horned shark scents an egg case. It bites with strong jaws and flat back teeth. Crunch. Slurp. A cookie cutter shark attaches its lips to prey. It bites using pointy razor sharp teeth. The shark cuts out a bite as round as a cookie. See that? Speaking of cookies, Emma and I are gonna do some baking today. And then here we go, a basking shark glides through the sea. Its mouth is open. It collects water and strains of plankton with its gill rakers. There's its gill rakers. Plankton are tiny animals drifting in the ocean. Coral reefs teem with ocean life. One in four kinds of all ocean animals are found here. Sharks rule the coral reefs. They keep reefs healthy by eating weak and sick animals. So here you have your coral reef. Shark attacks. People are more likely to be killed by sharks in Australia than in any other place. But the number of attacks is small. Around the world, crocodiles, dogs, and pigs each kill more people every year than sharks do. People are much bigger danger to sharks than sharks are to people. Sharks under attack. Humans are sharks' main predators. As many as 100 million sharks are killed by people every year. Many sharks are caught in nets set for other fish. 
Dr. Ellen K. Pickett is a scientist and shark hugger. She says, sharks are sensitive creatures. They need our help. They must not be killed in the numbers they are now. One way to help them is to create safe areas where they won't be hunted. We must work together to get the word out about the dangers our sharks face. And there's another new word, a predator. A predator hunts down and may kill another animal. So your predators are sharks, leopards, lions, okay? They hunt to find their kill. World of sharks. We humans find sharks to be both terrifying and beautiful. There are more than 400 kinds of sharks in our seas. They are unlike any other animals on earth. Let's help them survive. Let's keep the seas swimming with super cool sharks. Their future depends on our respect for them in their watery world. Blue sharks feed on a school of anchovies in the warm waters of California. There's a blue shark and there's all the little anchovies. They're schooled together in a group. All right, so there's your book on sharks. Now I challenge you to go on the internet, pick a shark, one of your favorites. It could be the great white, uh, uh, the um, tiger shark, anything you like. Go in and research a little bit. Find out more. Um, also, you can watch some virtual field trips to aquariums. Emma and I did that the other day. Um, anything to help you keep learning and keep you occupied and keep that mind growing. So I hope you guys enjoy. I will talk to you soon. And please send me videos. Let me know what you're doing. Have a good day, kids.